Web for Faculty comes with some tools that allow you to communicate with students directly from WebRunner. Uh, here we're looking at a summary class list. Uh, there's also a detailed class list and a wait list where you can communicate with students. Uh, but on our personal computers, especially at work, uh, email is often an issue because each computer has a default email. It automatically works for tablets and smartphones because of how they are set up. But there's some changes you need to do at work. And what I'm talking about is when you try to email someone, here you can email individual students or you can email the class. If you click it, depending on the computer, it will might pop up and say it wants to run Microsoft Outlook uh, or like this, nothing happens. But there's one thing you need to do and you need to go to your Gmail and this is in Chrome and you're looking for this box up at the top or this uh, almost diamond looking thing and it says this page wants to install a service handler. You're going to click that and then say allow mail.google to open all email links and click done and from there all you need to do is refresh the page and then you can start and now your computer will be changed and now once you've done that uh, you can go into the summary class list and you can click on the individual email icons to uh, email specific students or if you click email class it will bring up the window uh, and you'll be blind copying uh, all the, the students. Uh, you would need to put one address, maybe your email address in there, uh, but all students will be blind copying and be sending out an email to all the students in a class. And that's how you change it on your PC or work computer where it doesn't automatically bring up Microsoft Outlook, but instead will bring up Gmail.